And I started going. And I said, well, it's not. We got some inside information, son. Mm-hmm. All we need to do is just go to him. Like Mary said, whatever he said, do it. <laughs> Hello, Rodney. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise God. Praise God, Hello, Rodney. God bless you this morning. Bless you, Dad. Bless you. you too, son. Bless you, one mother. Good morning, everybody. We got another hand praise. Amazing. Amazing. Good stuff. Good stuff. We have some good lessons, too. Mm -hmm. So, so grateful for the social pastors, Dad and Mom, Ryan. They always make it a point to acknowledge. our gratefulness for them for the sound, encouraging teaching of the word through the lesson. Praise God. Yes, indeed. The example of godliness, faithfulness, patience, dedication. Yeah. Just precious jewels amongst us. Yeah. They're recovering in prayer also. Amen. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We also honor and appreciate our precious mother, Hunt. Yes, yes amen. Amen. As well as all to participate, our, our children don't fall back. Yes, all to participate. We are always better together. together. Mm-hmm. Yes, we definitely appreciate the pastor of this house, Regina yes. Tucker, Amen. and our Bishop Roy Tucker. Yes. Amen. Thank God for them, the leadership, the yes. faithfulness, the dedication, everything they represent. Mm-hmm. Yes. And we keep them up in prayer yes. also. Amen. Pray for our leaders. Yes. Yes. This is when we go through the scriptures of the lesson. Mm -hmm. Uh, So this lesson is Jesus' first miracle. Yes. Lesson text. Daddy, Mom, Brian, Mother Hunt, and the other apostles elaborating on. John chapter uh, 2, verses 1 through 12. Yes. And as our custom here at Mother Tucker Ministry, let's go back and recap, review last week's lesson. Let's go back over last week's lesson in the spirit of diligence. Amen. As we always say, nobody gets all and retains all in from one city. Amen. It's always good to go back and recap. What was our lesson title last week? Resurrection. Resurrection. Of Jesus, Yeshua. Yes. Our lesson text was Luke chapter 24, verses 1 through 12, then it skipped to verse 30 through 35. Uh-huh. All right, so our lesson last week, I've written down the lesson picked up right after the week, the previous week's lesson. We talked about the crucifixion. Yes, sir. Uh, not the pilot, excuse me, uh, after Joseph asked for Pilate, Pilate's body and, and all of that. Mm-hmm. In our lesson, though, it says on the first day, okay, so on the first day of the week, uh, was it in the late morning? Early. Early, early in the morning. Very early. Mm-hmm. Uh, early in the morning, they came where? To the sepulchre. To the sepulchre. Yes. Right. Who? The women. The women, right? They, we we'll talk about they 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 uh they say that later. What did they bring? Spices. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, they brought spices. Uh, verse two. The women found that what had happened. Stone, 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 rolled rolled away. Away. stone has been rolled away from the sepulchre. Yes. Right? Verse three. So they entered in. The sepulchre. Did they find Yeshua's body? No. Yeah. That's what they were looking for, right? right. Yes. Yeah. They went for the purpose to anoint, to, to, to put the spices on the body. This this was their culture. Yes. So it was so a typical thing that they would do after somebody passed away. So they were going looking for the body. Mm-hmm. They got in there. It wasn't there. Yeah. So 
uh, verse 4 says these women were much what? Perplexed. Perplexed. Per perplexed. Confounded. Or mm -hmm. at a loss, right? They didn't know what to make of it. Amen. The Bible says, um, who was standing in there? Two men. Two men. In what kind of clothes? Shining garments. Shining garments. Verse 5. I have a. How did the women feel when they saw the two men? Afraid. afraid. They were afraid. And what did they do? Bow down. Bow down face the earth. They bowed down. And I was making a point mm -hmm. that uh, that was a part of their culture, right? Yes. So just, it, 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 it was a very hospitable culture. Yes, sir. Right? Kind of foreign to ours. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, but that, that was what they did. So they bowed down their faces to the earth. And the men said to them, Why seek ye the what? Living, Living. Living among the yeah. dead. Yeah. They said, He is where? Not here. Not here. Not here. Not here. What happened to him? He, risen. he, risen. he said, He is risen. Mm -hmm. You're seeking some, see, you're seeking the living among the dead. He's not here. He's not here. Mm -hmm. He's risen. They told him what happened, right? Yeah. Then they reminded him. They said, remember how he spake unto you when he was where? Galilee. Yeah, in Galilee. So he had to remind them mm -hmm. of what you had already said. Yes. Saying, the Son of Man must be what? Delivered. Delivered into whose hand? The hand of righteous men? Sinful men. Sinful men or sinners. Mm -hmm. The Son of Man must be delivered into people who were sinful mm -hmm. and be what crucified, crucified. Mm -hmm. what happened on the third day Risen. this is what Yeshua had told them he said remember when he told you this right yes. Amen. then verse 8 says then they what this is good to be reminded. It's good yes, to go back yes. over stuff, right? Amen. Because we don't get that. We don't retain everything. Amen. I'm sure they heard it. And I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure they were intelligent people, but they had to be. We have to be reminded. Right? Amen. Verse nine. Well, verse eight says they remember his word. Verse nine says and returned from the sepulchre, yeah. and they did what? Oh. Told all these things unto who? Eleven. Yeah. Eleven and yeah. all the rest. It was much more than just the twelve there, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or the eleven. Yes, ma'am. Uh, verse 10. Verse 10 says, and they're talking about the women, it was who? Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene. And I was explaining it's Magdalene. You know, it was not her last name. Uh, what, what, what was Magdalene? Anybody remember? Where she was from. Where she was from, right, right. From the place. It was a place called Magdala, right? Mm -hmm. So I was explaining just like Yeshua, Jesus of Nazareth, that word of is not really there, it's just Nazareth. So it would have it would have said Jesus Nazareth, right? Mm -hmm. But it's talking about where he was where he was from. Mm -hmm. So Mary Magdalene, and who else? Joanna. 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 And who else? Yeah. Mary. Mary, the mother of James. James. I was, I was kind of giving all of these original <laughs> names. They weren't Joanna. There wasn't Mary. Mary is Miriam. James is Jacob. Joanna was Yacht. Yaconine. Yaconine. Anyway, but so it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Mary, the mother of James, and other women that were with them. With them. And, and so these women did what? They told these things to the, to, to the disciples, to, yeah, to the apostles. So, they, so the women had this experience with those, we call them angels, that was in the sepulchre. They said, remember when he told you these things, right? He's not here. He's not here. He's, he is risen. Remember when he told you this. And they remember. Then they went back and told the good news to the apostles, right? Yes, amen. Verse 11, 
But it's, verse 11 says that their word seems to them as what? Idle tales. Idle tales. Did, did the apostles believe them? No. Nope. Nope. They believed them not. Verse 12. Then who arose? Peter. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Peter, boy. That's my dude, Peter. Yeah. Peter arose and did what? Ran to now, now, the Bible says they didn't believe the women. But here it says one of them got up to go see. Okay. Well, he did. He did, yeah. He, did. he got up to go see. Yes. And another gospel writer said John went with him, right? John went first. And then yeah. Peter got up, right? Yes. They went to go see. Mm -hmm. They wasn't just like, I don't believe. I mean, you know, that's the human. We, we get there, but he was like, let me go see for myself. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The other ones, no, if nobody else did that. Seemed like it would have been a line of them going, right? <laughs> Peter rose and ran to the sepulcher. Verse 12 said, and stooping down, he beheld the what? Men in clothes, laid by themselves. And he departed, wondering in, in himself at what? At that which had to pass. At this had he was wondering about all of this. Right? Yes. He's seen it for himself, though. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And last week we went through this because this verse, the lesson skips to verse thirty. Uh, we went through some verses in there last week. We're not going to go through this this week. And I was basically, you know, talking about. I, I was giving the idea of the dynamics of the time that this at this time they were under. Roman colonization and mainly, get, mainly given the idea of what Israel was expecting from a Messiah yes. which was called a Yasa mm -hmm. the word Yasa is translated savior, uh, is translated savior yes. right in, in the Hebrew in the, in the, in the Greek is sotir is translated savior but a Yasa in the Old Testament was what Samson was, it was what Othel was, it was what the Bible says, uh, and, and, and God God gave a deliverer to yeah. Israel. Yeah. That word deliverer is a yasa that's also translated savior. Yes. Uh, and this, this was what a Messiah was written to do, mm -hmm. right? So this was the idea. Uh, so in verse 21, mm -hmm. it was one that had said, uh, I just since, since I quoted on my list, okay. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm liable to quote it wrong. Mm -hmm. So verse two. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, mm -hmm. Twenty-four. Verse twenty-four and twenty-one. I think. So. Uh, so, so they, 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 these were guys who was coming, uh, going to uh, Emmaus, right? Uh, is that the name of the town? Emmaus? I think it was called Emmaus. Yes. So they were on their way to Emmaus, and they were talking to Yeshua. Mm -hmm. and, and Yeshua had asked them what's going on and this and that, you know, what, what do you... And so they ended up telling him, you know, are, are you a stranger from town? You don't know what's going on? Yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And so they're telling him, they're telling Yeshua not knowing who he was, about everything that happened. And then in verse 21 it says, and we trusted it, it, that it had been he which should have redeemed Israel. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm just making the point that this was the mentality that they weren't really you know, wrong for thinking that. Mm -hmm. This is what I was doing. Right? Yeah. They weren't wrong for thinking that because this was what God was doing a new thing though. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But but they weren't, you know, they weren't out of their minds for thinking this. They weren't calm, they weren't none of that stuff because this was in the scripture. Uh, so anyway, but, but brought all that out, Acts, Acts 1 and 6. So we went through all that mm -hmm. to, to give a, a little more idea of, of what actually happened in that whole thing. But back, back to our lesson, verse 30. We'll get back into our lesson. So verse 30 in our book says, It came to pass as he sat at meat with them. Now who is it he? Jesus. Jesus, for sure. Mm -hmm. So he sat at meat with them. He took what? Bread. Bread and did what to us? He didn't just start eating it, he blessed it, right? Yeah. He broke it and did what? Yeah. He gave to them. Mm -hmm. 
What happened after this? Verse 31. Yeah. 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 Their eyes were open and they yeah. knew him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then what happened? Yeah. They vanished out of their sight. Yeah. And this, this was on their way uh, to Emmaus, right? Yeah. And he vanished. Mm -hmm. They said to one another, verse 32, did not what burn within us? Our, our, our hearts burn with us out as he did what? Talk with us by the way, and while he did what? Open, Open up to us the scriptures. It's who they oh, he, he opened up the scriptures. My God. Uh, and other gospel writers they they, they say that uh, he, he made the scriptures clear. He he made the he made the, he told the meaning behind the scriptures, right? Yes, uh -huh. hmm. Thank you. How he opened up the scriptures and, and, and he actually told them how those scriptures talked about him. Yes. And the scriptures would have been what we call the Old Testament. Yes. And the prophets, right? Yes. Now he, he did not say that uh, uh, the old script the old testaments which which referred to him, the law and the prophets, because uh, when when you start reading our, in our lesson this week, they talk about how this was the man, this was the guy who Moses wrote about uh -huh. in the law. In the law, yes. This was who Moses wrote about, right? Yes. He's here. They were excited, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, okay, but all of the law, the thou shalt and the prophecies, everything, everything pointed to him. That don't mean that we skip all of that. Mm -hmm. All of that pointed to him. That don't mean that we skip that. Right? right. All right. Anyway, so verse 33 in our lesson uh, says, so, so he opened up the scriptures. They were, they were excited about the, the revelation that he gave them about the scriptures, what was, all, what was written all the time. All the time. He opened it up. Well, that's an exciting thing. Yes. Verse 33 says, and they rose up the same hour and returned where? Jerusalem. Jerusalem from Emmaus, right? Yes. Who they find? The eleven. The eleven. The eleven. Gathered together. And every day, everybody that was with them. Verse 34, saying what? The Lord has risen. The Lord has risen. Not what? Indeed. Indeed. In other words, we know it. It's a fact. Right? We sinked him with our own eyes. He ate with us. Yes. <laughs> they knew it was him. Their eyes were open. Something about you know him for. So he <laughs> my sheep know my voice. Anybody can't. They can't be distracted by anybody. My sheep know my voice. So they knew for themselves. They left wondering. They left on their way to Emmaus. Wondering what was going on. Mm -hmm. But they came back preaching. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> they came back telling the story. Oh, oh yeah. To the left, right? Amen. Yeah. And so they said, The Lord is risen indeed. That means that it indeed is truly for truth, for sure. <laughs> And he said, and at the end of verse 34, he says, He is risen indeed, and, and, did, and did what? Appeared to Simon. Appeared to Simon. First, Simon Peter, yes, ma'am. Verse, 30, verse, verse 35 says, And they did what? Oh. Oh. Told the things that were done on the way. They told the story, and how he was known in them, how? Breaking of bread. Breaking of bread. <coughs> Resurrection. Of Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. Amen. Woo! Well, I tell you, that's a powerful thing. It is. On to our lesson today, Jesus, Yeshua's first miracle. Mm -hmm. This is John chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. So John 2 and 1 says, What took place on the third day in Canaan? Marriage. Marriage. Uh, verse 1 says, now verse 1 says, who was there? The mother of Jesus. Now I hear that as she was already there. 
right? Mm -hmm. That's the way I'm reading this. Yes. In the first verse, it just says the mother of Jesus was there. Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm, this is just me, I'm reading this that she was already there, mm -hmm. right? And then in the second verse, it says, who was called? Jesus was called. Or invited. Jesus and his right. disciples. He didn't say his mother was invited. No. It says she was there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the way I'm reading. Yeah. yeah. She wasn't invited or called. She was there. Yeah. Um, I honestly believe, and they kind of said something, they kind of mentioned it in, in the book, that she was probably a host. I'm thinking she was probably like a hostess or something because, because of her whole role in this. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, verse 30, I mean, excuse me, verse 3. It says, and when they when they wanted what wine, wine, wine or when they lacked wine, or when they was running out of when they was running out of wine, uh, the mother of Yeshua mm -hmm. said unto him, she, he, she said what? They have no wine. Mm -hmm. They have no wine. Mm -hmm. Now I just I just it's just kind of interesting, you know. Initially, you read this and, and you just. I just imagine initially, I would imagine, okay, she just happened to be there. She saw that it was a need, mm -hmm. and then she know her son can can solve this need, right? Yes, yes sir. But in studying this, mm -hmm. it's caused me to see her in a more more uh, involved position in this whole marriage. Mm -hmm. This is just the way I like, you know, this is my, this is the way I'm reading this, right? Mm -hmm. So it says, when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus, Yeshua said unto him, they have no wine. No wine. Verse 4, Yeshua said unto her, what? Woman. 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 <coughs> what have I to do with thee? Now, as mother was making it clear, and then I think Mother Brian, and I think even Dad might have said something about it, but this was not... Like I said, in our culture, you call yourself mama, boy, you might have some teeth missing. It's, it would be a bad day if you call her mother. If you call your mother, if you call your mother woman, mm. you call your oh lord, you call your sister, <laughs> you call your mother woman. I don't care what your tone is. It doesn't even matter the tone. <laughs> it don't matter what the tone is. If a child it's says woman, mm -hmm. boy, you done lost your. <laughs> it's gonna be a bad day, boy. <laughs> but it wasn't like that in this culture. In this culture, they said actually. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and read this verse. Uh, I mean, page seventy six at the bottom right. Bottom right. Uh, <laughs> bottom. The, the, the bottom right of the page says the way forward. Mm -hmm. In our culture, to respond to a woman, and especially one's mother, the way Jesus did would be considered extremely rude and disrespectful. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' culture, that was not the case. To address a woman as woman was a normal, polite way to speak, as can be seen by as can be seen by the several times Jesus himself did so, Matthew 15, uh, 28, that was when he said, uh, woman, oh woman, uh, Matthew 15, 28, that was when he said, I think that's when he said, oh woman, great is thy faith. Luke 13, 12, uh, I think that was a woman at the well. I, I might be getting these mixed up, but there were different times when he said woman, right? Yes. Oh, woman, great is thy faith. Uh, woman, thou art loose from thy, from thy infirmities. Yes. A bunch of times when he used that term woman. Amen. Right? So Amen. They, they gave these scriptures, but you can actually look them up. Mm -hmm. And like it's like Mother pointed out in, in, in John 19, 26, he spoke this concerning John's mother when he was on the cross. Yes. Woman. Behold thy son. Yes. Mm -hmm. But he was not being disrespectful. So, mm -hmm. in fact, it says, in fact, in John 19, 26, Jesus again addressed his own mother as woman. Mm -hmm. When he committed her future care, to, okay, he was talking to his mother again. Mm -hmm. when, he commit, when he committed her, her future care to John, he was not being disrespectful mm -hmm. and saying 
uh, it is always very important to not read the Bible from the lens of our culture mm -hmm. or, uh, um, as much as possible. At least consider, because I know we don't know, mm -hmm. but at least consider, okay, this, this, uh, I need to see the dynamic. This is why I talk about this. Why I talk about the dynamic so much because I don't want us to be reading it always from the lens of this culture. This, mm -hmm. this is different. Amen. Amen. So he said, uh, "Woman, what, I, what what have I to do with thee?" Mm -hmm. He said, "What is not come? Uh -huh. My hour, my season, right? My time is not yet come." Amen. His mother, verse five. And, and this was nobody. Nobody really understands this kind. This you know this this conversation really. <laughs> what have I to do with thee? My hour is not yet come. Amen. Uh, and I like the way the book put it. The book put it. You know, he gave they gave different narratives that different scholars say about this, but they said the bottom line, the main thing that we got to remember is that a miracle took place yes. that was confirming who. Yeshua was. Mm -hmm. right? That is the main point. Amen. Sometimes we can get distracted by things that, that don't really you know, have a lot to do with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so his verse 5. His mother said unto who? Servant. His servant. She said, Whatsoever he, tells he you says you. unto do you, it. what? Do, do it. it. Do it. Mm -hmm. Now, this, this is why I say I believe she had an integral part in this whole thing. Uh -huh. Because of her, it seemed like she had some authority there. It seems like it to me. Mm -hmm. She told the servants. Mm -hmm. Whatever. She, she didn't tell somebody, so to tell us, I don't know, just me, little weakness, I'm really kind of believing that she kind of had a part in this, uh -huh. right? Maybe a hostess or whatever. Mm -hmm. So his mother said unto the servants, Whatsoever he said unto you, do it. Now, I don't, I, it's kind of hard to connect from reading this in, in English language. I'm sure there was more to it. Mm -hmm. from, when, from him saying, what have I to do with thee? And she just, I got, he didn't say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour has not yet come. Amen. Whatever he said, do, do it. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah, just do it. Just do it. And that's, that's a good point. And, and, and they did it. You know, but I don't want to get caught up into, even though I just, I just, I, I believe there's more to it that's probably not written, right? There's more to it. Uh, but that's a good point. She said, whatever he said to do, just do it. Now, verse 6 says, there was how many water pots? Six. Six water pots uh, after the manner of what? Purifying. Purifying of the Jews, the Judeans, right? That this was their culture, this was their custom. Uh, that they in another passage they talk about uh, them washing their hands. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they, it, it, it's just a big part of them. They would pour water onto their hands in a, as a, a ceremonial way of cleansing, right? Before they eat and all just a, a lot of things, right? Yeah. So after their, after the manner of purifying of the Judeans uh, contained how much water? Okay. They, held, they held how much? Yeah. Two or three yeah. firkins of peace. Perkins. Right. Birkin was a little less than nine gallons, but I said about ten <coughs> gallons. Uh, so they said that a firkin, <coughs> they said it was really, what did they say, about uh, 100 and, 120 to 180 gallons uh, combined with all, wow. all six of those pots, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> you Verse seven. <laughs> Verse 7 says, uh, Yeshua said unto them, Do what to the water pots? Fill them, them with water. water. Did they do it? Yes. Yep. Now she told them, Whatever he tell you to do, Come on, that's the do key. it. That's the key. And then Yeshua commenced to do telling them mm -hmm. what to do. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's the key. And they did it. Amen. Yes. Obedience. They did. They did. They, like Dad said, they did, they did, I don't see where they asked no questions. Mm -hmm. They didn't. They didn't complain. They did nothing. They just did it. Yeah. Perfect. And this also makes me think that she has some authority there because she told them mm -hmm. whatever he said to do it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so verse eight. He told. Now he told them. He gave the servants some more instructions. Mm -hmm. First, he told them to fill the water pots three uh, 
first of three things. Yeah. Second, he said to do what now? Draw out. Draw out now, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Draw out now of those water that you put in the water pots. Mm -hmm. Draw out now yeah. and do what? And bear, bear yeah. unto who? The governor. The governor. Mm -hmm. Like mother said, this would have been the master of the ceremony, the, the guy who was over everything, right? Mm -hmm. They used governor, they used ruler, but it's the same same word. Mm -hmm. So then they draw it, bear it, and give it, bear it, or give it unto the governor, uh -huh. right? And the Bible says at the end of verse 8, they bear it. They did it. Yes. Now, who tasted the water? Verse 9. Ruler of the feast, which is what we call the master of the sermon, the guy who was over everything. Yes. He tasted the water. He tasted the water mm -hmm. that was made what? Wine. Mm -hmm. Did he know? Did he know the story behind it? No. no. But who knew? The servants, which drew the water, knew, right? Mm -hmm. The governor of the feast called who? Bridegroom. The bridegroom. Same, same guy, the, the master servant, ruler, governor. Called the bridegroom. Uh, and I had to actually, you know, research, okay, the bridegroom, right? Mm -hmm. We don't really use, I don't hear that term used in our culture. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, we'll call him the husband to be or something like the groom, call him the groom, but a bridegroom, it, but it, it's really just a groom. Right? Mm -hmm. just a groom. So if anybody didn't know like I did, you know, that's just a groom. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. so, uh, so the governor of the feast called the bridegroom. And, 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 and another thing that was interesting is in this culture, in our culture, the wedding is all about the bride. Yes. In this culture, the wedding was about the groom. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah, that's something. Yeah, it was different. The wedding was about the groom. The mm -hmm. bride didn't have, you know, the wedding was all about the groom. Mm -hmm. So, because he called the bride, he called the bride groom. Said unto him, mm -hmm. every man at the what? The beginning. Yeah. At the beginning, mm -hmm. thus said forth what? Good wine. Good wine. Mm -hmm. One to get like Dad was saying, you know, they, they give it at the beginning. Yes. Right? Because people are sober, you know. Yeah. <laughs> they know what's good and what's not. <laughs> at the beginning, right? But at the end, it all tastes good. Mm, don't know. So he said, at the beginning, does set forth the good wine. This is what this way it usually does. Every man at the beginning brings out the good wine. Yes. And when men have well what drunk, drunk, drunk yeah. then that which is worth. That which is worth. Uh -huh. He said, but thou has kept the what? Good wine until now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Makes it sound like the wine that, they were, that he was drinking now was better than the wine they ran out of. Right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he said, he called this, he said, you saved the good wine yeah. until now. Yes. <laughs> so this was better than the wine that ran out. Amen. Right? Because look who's hand made. Woo! Yeah. You know, he, everything he makes. It's good. Created. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Verse eleven. Verse eleven says, "This." He said, "This beginning of what miracle, miracle did Jesus wear in Cana, Cana of Galilee, yes. and manifest what forth his glory. his glory. Who believed on him? The disciples. His disciples believed on him, and I'll see that a few places where disciples believed on him." Mm -hmm. you know, it was a journey. I think it was different area that they had to believe. Yes. You know? it, it was a journey. It was a journey. Yes. Uh, verse 12. Mm -hmm. Verse 12 says, After this, he, Yeshua, went down to who? Capernaum. Mm -hmm. He and who else? Brother. Mother and Brother. brethren and Brother. disciples. Brother. They continued there how long? Not many, many days. days. Not many days. It yes. was first miracle. Yes. You know, uh, miracles, they was they were talking about the word that's translated miracle kind of refers to a sign. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, but <laughs> I think Jesus, Yeshua said, uh, the Jews require a sign, uh -huh. right? The Gentiles want wisdom. The Jews yeah. require a sign. Yeah. And uh, but 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 there is something in there because signs are important. Yes. You know, 
and, and it's a powerful thing. So he came bearing all of that. He just wanted us to believe. You know, context he talked to them. He said, I want, he, he wanted them to believe. And he didn't do nothing that 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 a person would not believe. He he he, he spoke the word, he, the, the word of God, which was gospel of the kingdom, which was everything that God has spoken. Every word that God has spoken, Yeshua, he was the word made flesh. He was the image of the invisible God. Right? He made everything that God said crystal clear. He gave the spirit of it. He gave the spirit of the word. He gave the spirit of the prophets, the spirit of the law, the spirit of the Psalms. He gave the spirit of every word that God has spoke. And he performed signs and, and miracles, right? Raising people from the dead. Uh, all of these things, he gave no reason to not believe. Everything was so that believe. So these signs were for he, everything, everything. God wants us to just like mom and dad was saying, just take him at his word. Just take him at his word. Mm -hmm. You guys have any closing thoughts? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Father God, we thank you for what you're doing by your spirit in our lives, Father. We thank you for the signs and the wonders yes, and the truth, your word, Father. We thank you for the for, for the blood, the blood, the blood. We thank you. We thank, thank you, you thank for everything you. that you have, you have done and that you are still are doing and that you are yes, going Lord. to do. Thank you for what you're doing, God, for, for your glory, for your glory, Father. We thank you. Yes. Constantly praying for the sick and the shut in. We thank you for what you're doing in the bodies of your people. Yes. Thank you, Father. By Jesus' Christ, we are here. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your healing power right yes. now in, in the bodies of your people, Father. Your yes. glory. We thank you for the word that's coming forth. Yes. We thank you for what you're doing by your spirit in our lives. Father, yes. we thank you for everything. Yes. In Yeshua's name, amen. amen. We thank the Lord for us. And this time we're going to get our Sunday school off.